Hi everyone, welcome to our series where we unpack crucial information for refugees in Malaysia. I'm Colin and joining me today is Isa. We are lawyers from the Kuala Lumpur Legal Aid Centre. Well, together with UNHCR, we have developed four legal empowerment videos to raise legal awareness with the refugee community in Malaysia. And in today's video, we are going to talk about criminal and immigration law. Now, without further ado, let's start things off with a common misconception. Holding a UNHCR card means you cannot be arrested and you cannot be even detained. I mean, is that true, Colin? Not at all, Isa. If you are suspected of a criminal offence like theft or drug possession, you can be arrested like anyone else. And if found guilty, you can be sentenced to jail time or fine. For immigration offences, the police and immigration authorities have the power to arrest. But generally, after having verified the authenticity of your UNHCR card, they may then release you. But above all, it is best to cooperate with the authorities. If you attempt to resist the arrest, you may face charges for obstructing officers in carrying out your duties. What are some of the common immigration offences that could lead to the arrest? Good question, Isa. The common ones include illegal entry to the country, overstaying visas, and working without permits. Got it, Colin. So, let's say if someone gets arrested, how long can this person be detained? It varies. For criminal investigations, the detention is up to 24 hours, but it can be extended up to 7 or 14 days if the court allows it. For immigration offences, the detention for investigations can be up to 14 days without going to court. Now, during the investigation period, usually you will be detained at the lockup. At the end of the investigation, you can either be charged in court or be released depending on the outcome of the investigations. If you are charged in court, you may be further detained under remand at the prison facility. Right. And what should someone do if they are arrested? I'm sure their family must be worried about that. If you are arrested, you have the right to make a phone call. I would advise you to save the contact number of the closest person you know into your handphone speed dial. It can be your family, friends, employer or community leader. So in the unfortunate event where you are arrested, that contact can then get in touch with UNHCR through the hotline number as appearing on your screen now. However, please take note that UNHCR is only able to assist for arrests relating to immigration offence. In the event you can't make that call or UNHCR isn't notified, investigation will conclude without release and you will head to the court. If you are being charged for immigration offence at court, please do inform them that you are registered with UNHCR. So, what happens in court? Well, in court, you will be asked whether to plead guilty or not guilty. If you plead guilty, the court will proceed to sentence you. However, if you plead not guilty, you will go to trial where you can defend yourself or get legal help. During this process, typically you will be detained in prison, but you can try applying for bail. Bail is a court order to keep you out of detention while waiting for the completion of your case. How do you get bail? Bail is not automatically given, but if the courts allow you bail, generally for a foreigner, there is a need for two Malaysian bailors or guarantors to be present in court. There is also a need for you to deposit a specified sum of money in court to guarantee your appearance at the next court date. The court can also place further conditions in granting bail. For example, reporting at the nearest police station once in every month until the completion of the case. You must now be wondering, will I ever get back the bail money that was deposited in court? Yes, once the case concludes, regardless of the outcome. But bear in mind, your court date should never be missed. Otherwise, the bail money can be forfeited and you can be arrested for missing the court date. Let's say if someone is sentenced, can they be released after serving their sentence? The answer is no. Once a foreigner has completed serving their sentence, they will be transferred to an immigration detention facility pending removal from the country. If you are 
a UNHCR card holder, UNHCR will try to advocate for your release, but the decision to release you lies fully with the Immigration Department. Now, let's go to another issue. Can you make a police report if you don't have any valid documents and you are not even registered with UNHCR? Every person, including foreigners, are entitled to make a police report anywhere. However, you may want to exercise caution because not having valid documents itself is an offence, which may lead to an arrest. As such, if you are a victim of a crime, it is best for someone to accompany you to lodge a police report. Well, you might be wondering too, what if someone can't afford a lawyer? Is there any alternative call-in? Please reach out to the Bar Council Legal Aid Centre and if you are under 18 years old and facing a criminal charge, the National Legal Aid Foundation or better known as YBGK is also available to you. If you are charged for a capital case like drug trafficking or murder, where you cannot afford a lawyer, the court will assign you a lawyer free of charge. A gentle reminder, there are several offences which many may not know are crime offences. These include 1. Carrying a knife or any dangerous weapon in public 2. Begging on the streets 3. Getting drunk in public 4. Gambling in public or places which are not authorised for gambling activities These include playing any online gambling apps 5. Fighting in public 6. Burning your trash in open spaces 7. Crossing the road illegally 8 making excessive noise to the extent of disturbing peace. 9. Insulting someone, cursing, using bad words, language or gesture to provoke someone else. 10. Selling goods or foods on street without license. We hope that you have gained new knowledge and awareness with all the information you learned from both of us today. We encourage you to gain more understanding of your rights by watching all four videos in the series. And for more information, you can visit UNHCR Malaysia website at refugeemalaysia.org. Don't miss out on vital information that can empower you and others in your community. Stay informed, know your rights.